Please follow this testing process carefully. Failure to do so may result in a circuit board failure on your auto straw dispenser. This is a simple testing process if you follow this short video. For the auto straw dispenser, the polarity of the electronics is crucial. Most buzzolator machines will come with normal polarity, but some may come with reverse polarity, and that is why this testing is so crucial prior to installing your auto straw dispenser. You will need a simple electronics voltage meter. You can get one of these for about $5 to $10 at a hardware store, electronic store, or online. The only requirement is that the voltage meter has a DVC setting, as in the picture. Please set the meter to the proper settings. Part 1. Ensure the positive and ground wires are attached to the meter properly, as in the picture, or per the instruction in your meter's manual. Part 2. Move the dial to the DVC20, as in the picture. Next, please connect the meter to the microcomputer timer. The black goes to the number 3 port and the red goes to the number 4 port. If your machine has regular polarity, the meter will read just about 12. The important thing here is that we do not see a negative sign in front of the number. If you do not see a negative sign in front of the reading, please stop watching this video and move on to the next video for installation. If your machine reads a negative number, this means your buzzer has reverse polarity. If this is the case, please note for the next video that black will be your positive line and red will be your ground wire. So simply reverse these two wires during installation and you are good to go.